Is that too bright for you? Or? Nah, that's straight. Okay. Now regarding Eric Garner and what happened to him, uh, what do you think about that situation with the, the cop not only choking him, but then he ends up dying from being choked, and then he doesn't get indicted, the officer doesn't get indicted? I feel like we've been treated as second class citizens. I feel like that we can no longer trust the police from continuous events, Trayvon, Mike Brown, and so forth. I feel like that we supposed to rely on the police, but now they the ones who are doing the crime and getting away with it. Like, so now we think like, who can we trust? If we can't trust the police, then who, who we gonna call on when, when we need our problems handled, you know? So I just feel like that some need to happen, some need to take place. I feel like this is a time where everybody supposed to stand up and go for what you believe in it. Because if you don't, it's going to continue to happen. Because that could be any of us. We all could be Trayvon, Mike Brown. So I think at this point in time now, we all got to take a stand. We all got to come together to do something to stop this ongoing problem. That's just how I feel about it. What do you, do you believe it's, do you believe with everything that's happened lately, do you believe it's about race in your honest opinion? Yeah, I mean, because look who it is. It's always the black man. Look who it is. And these dudes ain't doing nothing. These ain't no dudes with no bad background. These ain't no murder suspect, robbery suspect. These is normal black people. You know what I'm saying? And the video shows they not doing no crime. You know what I'm saying? And then not only that, the police is not getting prosecuted behind what they doing. Now, if I was in his shoes and I did that, for sure I'd be in jail until I'm proven innocent. They got these people on tape committing murder, and they walk free. I don't even got to commit murder. Somebody can say I did a murder, I'm going to jail. No evidence or nothing until I figure, till they figure out otherwise. So why is it different on their end? That's what I don't understand. I don't understand that. And we got live footage. So now we can't even put our trust in the police. So is we wrong for taking the law into our own hands? I'm trying to figure that out. Is we wrong? That's just how I look at the situation. So they can't be mad when people don't call on the police and they handle the situation they said, because when the police come, something bad happens. So hey, we looking at them like they the criminals, because that's what's going on today. So now I believe if don't nobody stand up and take a stand, it's gonna constantly happen. So we need to do what we gotta do to move on and stop this stuff from happening. That's just how I feel. How do you feel when the prosecutor explains everything that happened, then basically tells people who don't agree with the verdict to deal with it. I mean, it makes you angry. It, ma it makes you want to start going doing crime on them so they can feel your pain. Because we can't trust them either. We can't trust the prosecutors. We can't trust the grand jury. We can't trust nobody because they going to back theirs just like we're going to back ours. You know what I'm saying? Like, how we gonna ride for the victims, they gonna ride for the suspect, which is the police. They gonna back them up in what they do. Because if it wasn't like that, they'd be in jail. But since that they all in the same circle and they move together, they gonna protect their people. Now, is it right? It's definitely not right. But what do we do to move on and make, make something happen on our end of the stick? Because I feel like this thing constantly gonna go on because it's been going on for a minute now and it just so happened people was catching it on video. So they got no defense to prove why this happened. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing in their defense to, to answer the questions. Why did this happen? Why did you kill this man? Why did you choke this man? Why did you shoot this man while he had his hands in the air? What is your reasons? They should be in jail right now fighting that case. But instead, they out. We don't get those type of privileges. We don't get to walk away. We, if I do a murder on tape, I'm for sure to go to jail. I'll be in the penitentiary right now. These people are still on the streets. Something got to happen. That's just how I feel. Something got to happen. You know what I'm saying? And see, and with me, I always been against the police. See, we've been seeing this before it even hit the cameras. We was going through this just on the streets, just doing us. We was going through this. Police playing dope on us. You know what I'm saying? Police doing stuff that ain't part of the law. They doing stuff that's out of their boundaries. We've been going through it, but now all of a sudden they catching it on camera. That's why we always been saying fuck the police. Because you can't trust them. You got people with different intentions hiding behind that badge. Some people, some people might be for the law, some people might be for the for the people, but most of them not. 
they doing what they feel. So if you got a man working on a police force that might have something against black people, he going to act according to that. He's not going to act as he's serving for the law. He's not going to act like that because he's going to act off his feelings. So you put these people on, it, on, on, on a law enforcement team and they get out in these streets and they breaking the law. But they hide behind the badge. See, when I break the law, I go to jail. When he breaks the law, he go home. I don't think that's fair. So with that going on, we got to do something. Because we got to have our back just like they got each other back. And we're going to have to make our move just like they making their move. And until that happens, it's going to constantly go on. They're going to constantly not go to jail until we stand up and do something for ourselves. So all I think we should do, we all should come together and we should do our thing. We should ride. That's the solution to the problem. Ride. Whenever your people get hurt, you ride. That's what you do. You got to ride for yours like they're going to ride for theirs. Because they definitely ain't going to ride for us. They killing us off. If we constantly let this go on, it ain't going to be no more of us. We're going to be extinct like the dinosaurs. So we got to make our move. So everybody need to get in their mind and figure out what we need to do and come together. Because if we don't come together, we ain't going to get nothing accomplished. And that's simple and plain. And you go through that in the streets, in the penitentiary, that's everywhere in life. So if you, if you just got a few people that's just trying to make a move, it ain't going to work like that. Numbers is power. So if you got numbers and you making a move, something going to change. But if it's just a few people that's ready to ride, you ain't going to never get nowhere in life. Everybody got to be ready to go on this. You got to look at these dudes like that's your family. Because it really is. Because they look at us as a group. They put us in a group. They in a group. They in the law enforcement. We in the streets. You know what I'm saying? We come from low income housing, so we all got to ride together to get somewhere in life. If we don't do that, they're going to keep doing what they're doing. And that's just how I feel about the situation. And can I trust the police? No. Would I ever trust the police? No. Until they re rebuild that trust. Until then, we don't trust the police. We don't even want to call the police. We don't want the police know around us because they're the one who's killing us off. They say, oh, well, they killing each other. Well, y'all helping. We don't need that. So therefore, when I'm going through something, I'm going to take it in my own hands. Because I can't trust the police. They killing off all my people. Why would I call y'all to help me? You just killed my brother. And that's just how you got to look at the situation. Everybody got to stand up for each other. Until that happens, it's going to be problems in the streets. They should ride. They should protest. And everybody should come together. The streets should be flooded with us. Walking down the street protesting, trying to get our point across. Because if we don't do it like that, we ain't going to never get nothing accomplished. And that's just how I feel. And these videos gonna constantly keep popping up where they killing black people on camera, gunning them down, choking them out. You know what I'm saying? And nobody's going to jail behind it. So I feel like we gotta ride. That's my solution to every problem. We gotta ride. What do you think about the Facebook critics such as myself? You know, you have all these critics who, who speak down on people in St. Louis for burning down buildings but yet they would these same people would never lift a finger and pro and stand put up and stand on anything what i feel about them type of people what i feel about them type of people that they don't know they don't know they don't know what team they on they don't know they don't know the pain of these people family who done lost somebody they can't put themselves in their shoes and imagine what these people is going through and why they angry and why they doing what they doing because they on the couch just as lost. They not in tune with what's going on. They don't see what's happening around us. They blind. That's how I feel. Because if you mad at the person that's looting, you ain't took one look at the motherfucker who done killed the motherfucker child for apparent no reason. Now if a motherfucker would have took their child, then it would have been a problem. Then that rage and that anger of being there, but since they not in these people's shoes, they don't feel they pain. So they sit at home and they put up these scenarios in their mind and they come up with these different concepts of why people doing what they doing, then they criticize people. Not knowing you adding on to the pain. You adding on to the pain. What about them not convicting this dude? This dude was on the streets, he killed this man broad daylight, shot him all in his head and everything, he had his hands in the air. And you don't understand why they mad? If you don't understand that, you don't understand nothing. Because if you heard one of mine, I'm most definitely be mad. I'd probably do a little more than looting and riding. It's going to be a little more than that over my people who I love. So if they don't understand that, they don't understand nothing. And they got to realize that you ain't doing nothing but adding on to the pain. You ain't helping in no type of way. If you're not going to ride and you're not going to stand for your people and back your people in a situation like this, don't put your two cents in it. You just stay doing what you do and let everybody else do their thing. 
If you're not going to be part of something that needs to be done, stay in your place. Don't nobody need your extra criticism on the internet. Don't nobody need your down talk. Don't nobody need none of that. You can keep that to yourself because you probably just as miserable as we is. Because you sitting on the couch down playing something going on and you ain't even a part of it. And that's just how I feel about them type of people. Because they do it. And I see them doing it. But I just feel like we all got to come together. That's just how I feel. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to ride for who need to be rolled for. If y'all my people and we all in the situation, because that could have been any of us in any of them situations. So I'm going to ride for my people. And, and that's what the people need to do. That's the only way you're going to get something done. That's the only way you're going to get something accomplished. You got to ride. And that's simple. When, after Mike Brown was killed, he get a friend with him. Yeah. And his friend's story was that uh, they were walking and the officer pulls up to him and says, get the get the F out of the street. Yeah. Do you think the, do you think cops are supposed to be public servants? They serve <clears throat> us. Do you, what do you think about that disrespect, if that's what happened, that disrespect right off the bat as opposed to being respectful? I mean, see, these these people look at the police like they some type of superheroes. They just regular people with a badge on. So if he was fucked up, or let me excuse my language, he was messed up before he came an officer, he's gonna still be messed up when he was an officer. If he was a disrespectful dude before he put that badge on and that uniform on, he's always gonna be that. He's not gonna change. But he just got a little more support behind him now that he got that badge on. So the only person he can be is the dude that he was from the gate. It don't matter what the job is, so by him pulling up being disrespectful, that's just him. Now, what I think is the police need to do better background checks and fill these police officers out before they put them out there to serve the public. That's how I feel. Because you putting people out on the streets that's criminals. And you, and you saying they here to protect and serve, but they criminals. They just hide behind the badge. And not only that, they good criminals because they getting away with these crimes. And they constantly let these people post to serve the public. How is that? I don't understand that. He should be done. He should be in jail doing time. Like anybody else who do a crime. I'm trying to figure out what make them better than me. If I steal a bag of chips out the store, I'm going to jail. That's simple and plain. Now, I feel like that the black young dudes is being targeted because... The image that they got, you know what I'm saying? They got the perspectives of this image against us. Like, oh, we some criminals, we gangbangers, we thugs, we hooligans, we do all this. But you done let that image turn you into everything that you say we is. Because you're not following the law, you're not doing the proper procedures that it takes to take a person to jail, you turn into a criminal. I mean, you don't kill a dude because you think some way about him. If he do a crime, take him to jail. That's what it's supposed to be. You not, you not, you not somebody special that you can kill somebody and get away with it. That ain't how it work. You got a job too. So by you saying that we these dudes, the bad dudes, we criminals, we killers and all this, well you done stoop down to our level because you done killed the man too. So I feel like you should get the same punishment that I would get if I did that. And it's not happening like that. They getting away with murder on camera. I never heard of it. I never heard of it. Then they come with these fake apologies. Oh, I'm sorry, you know, and woo woo woo. We don't want to hear that. We want what they'll do to us. Send us away. I got all type of homeboys right now in jail for stuff that they ain't even have stone cold evidence for, but they doing the time. Now we make them different from them. We got the footage. That video speak more than anything. We got the footage. So what is taking them so long to prosecute these people? Is it because they're the police? They can get away what they want to get away with? So now we can't trust the police, who we gonna trust? We might as well just start buying guns. We might as well just stack up on guns, just get guns and ammo, bulletproof vests in, and get a whole bunch of cars. That's what we might as well do, that's what it's turning into. Cause if I can't call them to protect me and I gotta worry about them trying to kill me too, I mean, these criminals ain't nothing because I can, I can recognize a criminal when I see him and I know how to handle him. But the police coming there is they coming to serve and protect. So my guards is a little bit more down when it comes to them, but they the killers. 
They the one who's killing. So what are we supposed to do? I guess we should just stack up on guns and do what we do. That's just how I look at the situation. So we lost now. We don't, you know what I'm saying? Trust is being juggled. We don't know who to trust no more. And now when we break, break trust with the, with the law enforcement, should we force to deal with each other? Now we gotta trust each other because we can't trust them. So now we building up this type of thing where we're against the police.